Welcome to my fascial flow workout. For this workout, all you'll need is a mat and a chair. And today I wanna to go through some deep breath work as well as when we're trying to stimulate fascia, we do it through breath and through lengthening movements. So that's a lot of what we're gonna be really be focusing on today. So let's start with our legs, just out a little bit wider than shoulder width here. And I want you to stand tall. Feel some nice energy pushing down through your feet into the mat. Feel the light lifting and spiraling around your thighs and a light zipping up from the base of your pelvic floor all the way up through the top of your head. So from here, we wanna think about inhaling and breathing wide out into our ribs and into our back. And then as we exhale, we lightly zip and lengthen taller, but we're never gripping anything when we breathe, okay? So as we inhale, we wanna breathe wide, we wanna scoop our arms out and up, so we're working underneath our shoulders, and then exhale, let them come back down. Inhale, and exhale, lengthening tall, inhale, expanding wide through your chest. Last one here, and then we'll start moving. Okay, so let's bring those arms out. I want you to hold them here, and then we're gonna add rotation. So I want you to lift your right heel, and we're gonna spiral and reach through the arms, lift through the top of the head, and wrap the ribs. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, lift the left heel, reach with the hips and arms, and lengthen. Inhale, back to center. Now, listen to your body on these. You do not have to rotate very far, just nice and slow, really reaching through the pinkies lifting, feeling the spiral around the rib cage. Inhale, we come back to center. If at any time, you need to adjust your feet, just do so. Lifting that left heel, lift, spiral the ribs, reach through those fingers, turn your head towards the back wall or the side wall. Inhale, we'll do one more each side. Inhale, back to center, breathe wide. And then inhale right back here. So from here, I want to use the chair for this next exercise. And I like to use the chair because it modifies it a little bit so that we make sure we're not overusing our traps when we move into these. So hands wide onto the chair here. Nice steady surface, make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. Walk your feet back to where you can keep your feet flat, even if you need to bend your knees. You can bend your knees, think almost like a down dog position, but we're modifying here a little bit. So knees bent, send your sits bones, tailbone away from you without dipping into your low back. I want you to zip up through the low belly without rounding, okay? So we have to find this nice middle where you can feel your core lightly working, feet pushing into the ground, and then I want you to send your sternum forward and feel this nice wrapping around into your ribs. From here, deep inhale and then exhale. You're going to zip up the belly, lift, the heels, straighten the legs around your spine and articulate going forward, firing the mid back. And then from here, you're going to tuck your chin and go on back. Good, lengthening. If you want to and you feel like you can move back a little bit, go for it. Lengthening out, just watch your knot dropping down. I want you to widen across your chest. Good, lift your heels, pull up on those quads. Zip your belly, round your spine nice and slow, and go forward, opening up across your chest, really connecting through those hips. And exhale, tuck your chin and go back. Open up the sternum, feel like you're like a turtle, bringing your head up out of your shell, and then soften your knees if you need to, send your sits bones back. Exhale, lift the heels, round forward. This one we're going to hold, find that mid back, Fire those quads, like really pull up above your kneecaps. If your quads aren't burning, they're not active enough. Then we're gonna do some plank slides here. Lift your, press your heels back. Exhale, go forward. Zip up the belly, inhale to go back. Watch your neck, I want you to be out of your neck, feeling your mid back working, low back working. If you need to, you can even lightly draw your pubic bone underneath you a little bit, just to begin with, so I don't want you to feel this in your low back. forward, feel that nice long length from the top of your head to your heels, making the fascia through your body stronger and more connected in a lengthened position. Last three, and 
two. Last one here. And then I want you to go all the way back. Send those feet flat. Feel energy pressing down through your feet. Send those sits bones back. Challenge yourself to lift up through those hamstrings. Open across your chest. And then from here, I want you to walk in slowly. Bend your knees a little bit. Use the underside of the legs, low belly, to bring you up. Okay, this next exercise, I wanna open your chest. So you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna put one thumb on top of the other, and then you're going to open across your chest, push those feet into the ground, lift up through your body. So you feel a nice light glute connection, abs working, opening your chest, then let your arms just float, fall on down, tuck your chin. We're going to do a roll up. So I want you to roll all the way down, nice and slow. Now, if you need to, step back, right? So you're not gonna tap your head on your chair. And this exercise, it's not about how far down you go. So I don't care how far you go. This one's all about you letting your head go. So any tension you have in this upper back and neck with each one of these that you do, it's going to get less and less. So when you're here, think about your chin coming towards your chest. We're gonna stay for about three to five breaths. You wanna breathe slow into your back pushing your feet into the ground. You may need to soften your knees quite a bit, but shift your weight forward just enough so you don't want to feel like you're gonna fall, but you don't want to be so far back onto your heels either. We really need to use our toes. Um, that's a really big key when it comes to the fascia of our body because it comes from our toes all the way up through our head, through our fingers. Okay. On your next exhale, I want you to push that energy out through those feet, zip up through the legs, hamstrings, low belly, and stack slowly. One vertebrae at a time, open your chest. Then you're gonna take your hands behind and do the opposite thumb, if you can remember, behind you. Open up across your chest, really reach. It's not about just stretching, it's about lifting up through the top of the head, opening, feel the glutes working, and then let your arms go, tuck your chin. We'll do one more roll up here. Going down, hanging out for three to five breaths, really pushing your feet into the ground, making those toes work. Don't forget about those toes. Wiggle those legs if you want to. Need to breathe deep into your back. Let your head just hang. And when you're ready, exhale, push your feet into the ground. Keep your knees soft, zip up the belly. We're using our legs, using our core. We're creating space through our spine, letting our shoulders just flow as we come on up. Okay. From here, let's go ahead and move on down to the floor. I'm going to move the chair out of the way. For these, you just want your feet about hip width apart, and we're gonna take our arms actually out to a T position. So I like to teach this one sometimes. It adds a, a little bit deeper fascial connection here when we do this, because we need to open up across our chest. I want you to breathe wide to your sides. And then as you exhale, just really light, draw that diamond of the pelvic floor together. And up, soften the ribs. And then inhale. And then breathe wide out to your sides and into your back. As you exhale, pelvis tilts. Reach long and light through your fingertips. So I don't want any balled up fists. I want you to reach long. Feel like you're kind of reaching underneath your armpits. You may feel a little bit of um, tension across your chest and shoulders. So with each rep, just do the best you can to visualize that opening and unwinding, letting your neck and head relax. With each inhale, breathe wide. Exhale, just really light pelvic tilt. And then inhale and arch. We'll do one more. And exhale. Good, so we're feeling this zipping all the way up through our body. Now let's move into some hip rolls, which I love, one of my favorites. Um, but with this one, I'm gonna actually have two options for you. If you can put your arms overhead without stressing your neck, that's what I want you to do. If that does not feel good for you at all right now, it may someday, but right now then put your arms at your side. So either one is fine, but I'm gonna show it this way because this one I love for getting that mid back to open up a little bit more. So we start with our pelvic tilts, which we just did. I want you to inhale, breathe out wide to your sides. Exhale, nice easy pelvic tilt. Getting out of our back and into our deep core and our abs, articulate one vertebrae at a time as we push our feet into the ground. 
we work our way up just to our upper mid back, not onto our neck. We're reaching lightly through our fingertips. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you hold this one for a couple of breaths. And I want you to reach from underneath here. So watch your knot in your neck, right? So when you're up here, you could practice a little bit of just gliding your shoulders down and reaching them up and then kind of letting them just find that happy middle spot where you can feel a little bit of mid back working. So we're gonna hold up here. And then as you exhale, keep your hips moving up towards the sky as you sink your ribs. So it's, this one's a, a challenging one, especially when we bring our arms overhead, but we get some nice length through our body. And when you get to the bottom, keeping a little bit of awareness through our core here, I want you to breathe wide. Exhale, light pelvic tilt. Get into your core, into your abs. And so I want you, as you articulate up, using your legs and your abs. So a lot of times people can tend to feel this in their back, we don't want that. So you gotta bring the awareness to the front and the inside of your body. That's where pelvic tilts are a really good warm up exercise for these. Exhale, roll down. So we're trying to create more space in our spine for these. Exhale, pelvic tilt to roll up, soften through your neck. Again, if it gets to be too much, you can bring your arms down to your side. So one thing I wanna show you when you get up here in these pelvic tilts is watch that you don't drop like that, okay? We don't wanna be in our back. So it's light tilt, we're not gripping anything. We're just getting the glutes and hamstrings working, the inner line, pelvic floor, deep core, wrap those ribs, and exhale nice and slow, roll on down. So for this next one, your core is lightly on. So we can go ahead and come on up. And this is one of my favorites. It feels so good. This is such a good fascial exercise. We wanna wrap around the hips. If you need to, you may need to double up another mat to put underneath your knee. Bring this arm underneath you. So we wanna feel this wrapping around the ribs, opening through here, and bringing your arm up. And maybe this is enough for you today to just feel this nice stretch. Do a couple of these. If you can, bring that leg up. Reach through your heel. Deep breath wide. We're gonna exhale, zip up the low belly and round it. We're just gonna do like three of these because what I really want you to get is this opening up and you can just pause and hold and reach through those fingertips. Press this bottom one into the ground. Reach, create space through that pelvis. Exhale, round, inhale, open. Deep breath, breathe wide, breathe down into your sides. So we've got a little core activation here even though we're doing a little bit of some extension. And let's come on down, let those hips rest and we'll finish on the other side. So work on wrapping around this hip here. Press this bottom arm into the ground. So we're not just holding our body. We wanna really feel that connection through our arm, reaching this top leg back if you're ready for it. Or you can just hold and reach. Reach the leg up if you can and reach through the heel. Exhale, zip the belly. Round your spine to come in. And then inhale to open. Really open up across your chest down towards your hand, you can look up towards your other hand, whatever's most comfortable for your neck. Inhale, open, last one here. So really reach, 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 hold that, create that space through your chest, through your hips, and then go ahead and release. So let's come on up for this last exercise. We're going to do standing rotations again because after all of that work that you've just done, they should feel even just a little bit better and a little bit more connected this time. Okay, so feet a little wider than shoulder width. Nice deep, close your eyes for a second, get into your body, breathe wide, exhale lift lightly, and then scoop those arms out to the side. So we're not using our neck, we're using our shoulders, mid back and ribs. This time, let's lift our left heel and we're gonna spiral, reach. See if you can go a little farther with the ribs or the hips, just never force a movement. Inhale back to center, exhale. Really reach through those legs and glutes. Inhale back and rotate. Nice and smooth movement, reaching through those pinkies. Pressing energy into our foot that's flat and through those back toes. So we wanna feel the opposition. Let's do one more each side. Reach. Inhale, center. And last one here. And go ahead and come on up. 
So hopefully you notice just a little bit better connection in that last move, and that shows you that even the simple movements, the reaching, the lengthening, the opposition, just bringing more awareness into your body can really, really equal incredible results for your body, for your spine, for your breath work, for your mind. So try this workout again, either today, give it a shot later this week. Thank you so much for joining me. You can find all my programs, podcasts, and much more information at ericazeal.com.